Local 11-year-old is receiving national attention for his simple idea to help fight hunger. Today, Patrick Gannon's Serial Night was recognized by a congressman and Governor Don Kachiri. But the event was also derailed by a family tragedy. Highway to News reporter Nick Nuosu joins us for the story, all new at 11. 11-year-old Patrick Gannon of North Kingstown saw how the recession was affecting Rhode Islanders. So despite hard times in his own family, he brought his community together to help others. Dressed in a suit and tie, 11-year-old Patrick Gannon fixes his hair before greeting guests at his dinner party. The main entree? Cereal. I was sitting around the dinner table one night and I was talking about how the economy was so bad and I said, why don't we have cereal for dinner one night? And the money we save, donate to the food pantry. From that idea, Cereal Night was born. And last year, Patrick collected three tons of food for the needy. Then it got big. And then I met the Cardi brothers. Now you're famous. I know I'm famous. Patrick's mother, Jackie, wanted to make Cereal Night a national event. But on November 7th, she died suddenly from an aneurysm, two days before Patrick's 11th birthday. It's definitely devastating. You just try as a family to stick together to get through the times. I've been looking forward to this. This is what I've been, this is what's been keeping me going. Jackie's dream of a national serial night is closer to becoming reality. Remind Today, Congressman Jim Langevin praised Patrick's efforts on the House floor. Patrick is an inspiration to me, and I encourage my colleagues and all those who are listening to follow his example by donating to a local food pantry, starting a serial night in your own community. It feels great. Last year I helped, what, 300 families, 400 families? This year I'll probably help twice as much maybe, because the word's out there. Now even Governor Kachiri stopped by for a bowl of cereal. The donations this year went to a local food bank as well as a memorial fund in honor of Patrick's mother. Nekan Wosu, Eyewitness News.